hi guys welcome back to my channel head connect the number one or uh, head awareness channel in this video we're going to be talking about the death of an american uh, doctor a 56 years old man who died 16 days after taking the c19 or uh, vaccine so his name is uh, Dr. Gregory Michael. He took uh, his first vaccine on the 18th of December, 2020. So we're going to be looking at what actually happened and then the rumor out there. Is that the truth? Before then, uh, before we go into it, I want to quickly say, may his soul rest in peace. And I pray at this hour that God Almighty will grant the family the heart to bear the loss and we alone only god alone can refill or can replace that vacuum can fill up that vacuum that has been created why am i doing this video i'm doing this video because of the perception of so many people especially my african community the perception they have concerning the c19 or vaccine before you start spreading rumors this is my advice to people out there who go on social media to spread different rumors before you start spreading rumors about anything about anything at all whether medical condition whatever it is please 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 make sure you know or you have a good information about what really happened do not just confuse people so before we jump into the matter i will want to let you know about our disclaimer policy now we're going to talk about the death of late dr gregory michael who died 16 days after taking uh, the C19 vaccine. As we have gathered, he died of a condition known as hemorrhage in the brain. In the medical world, there is one particular thing, it's not a particular, there's one thing is very common, it's known as pathophysiology any condition whatever is going on they want to know the pathophysiology of it so like in this hemorrhage in the case of this brain hemorrhage or hemorrhage generally i want to quickly touch a little bit just a scratch on this a scratch on the surface of hemorrhage because hemorrhage is a very big topic but i want to scratch a little bit on the surface and quickly take you through what is hemorrhage what is hemorrhage Hemorrhage is uh, an acute loss of blood. It could be chronic, but I'm just defining it in a very simple way. It's an acute loss of blood from a damaged blood vessel. Hemorrhage could be minor or it can also be severe. Yes. So when you say minor, it means that, yeah, this type of like you can see under the skin which i'm going to show you now under the skin you see uh, some blood showing but in african skin it is very very difficult to identify with the african people because our skin is black but for some africans who are who are a bit on the light side you can easily identify it under their skin so when there are some spots on your skin, it shows some, like there are some blood, it's like rashes. So it could be dough, other things could cause it, but I'm not saying it's any uh, skin bleeding, uh, under the skin bleeding you see on your skin is, uh, hemor is hemorrhage. No, I'm not saying 100% hemorrhage. The one I'm talking about now is called petiche. So this petiche, is often presented like this on the skin 
on a on a light skin you can easily see that on a darker skin with uh, like the african skin it is very difficult to know now that is minor hemorrhage now when we say hemorrhage is severe it could be very fighter that's very dangerous it could lead to death like brain hemorrhage it could cause stroke that's bleeding now inside the brain when blood vessels in the brain in the brain are damaged those blood vessels they begin to leak blood you no know, leak out into the so they are surrounding so this could lead to stroke so when you hear about what is called hemorrhagic stroke just know that it is related to bleeding in the brain naturally the way god uh, uh god almighty designed the human body he designed it in such a way that when there is bleeding he there is the opportunity of what is called platelets to quickly come together when they come together they gather together and they form what is called a clot what does that clot do that clot will now block that place where the bleeding is coming from so the bleeding could stop i will do it in a very simple analogy you know when we cut hand when someone sorry i'm switching to my feet in english when there is a cut on your hand sometimes they will tell you to press it as you're pressing you are kind of hastening the job of that platelet because they keep gathering they gather and once they gather that place will be or uh, that blood uh, uh, leaking place will now stop because the platelet have gathered and formed a barrier that the blood will not leak out so that is the job of the platelet they help us to like form clot so and then inflammation inflammatory factors they will all gather at that place so god so designed the body that things respond automatically without you even knowing they start responding they start responding inside the, inside the body they go into action so that is what platelet does but something with platelet when you see that somebody or uh, have a cut it could be for example a simple a small cut and it keeps bleeding keeps bleeding keeps bleeding one thing you must know again there is a problem with the platelet cl forming a clotting factor you understand that is it so mark that platelet forming a clot now what could be responsible that this man's this doctor's or uh, or uh, brain there was a bleeding in it and it did not stop what happened now so many things could affect our platelet level when your platelet level is very very low they will not be able to form a clot you understand so i'm not talking about the vaccine now. i'm talking about the hemorrhagic uh bleeding that occurred in the life of this doctor that caused his death now things like lifestyle genetic uh yeah genetics could cause it and then uh, medications i i would have given a list of medications but due to the way our african community react and they do things when i put that list there they can take a picture of it and then tomorrow they will say oh the, we heard from one youtube channel that uh, these medications are bad they will cause hemorrhagic uh, they will cause internal bleeding for me no that's not what i mean so but for that simple reason that's why i cannot put any names i cannot name any medication here now so lifestyle medication medical condition genetic reasons and even some not some food that we eat i'll give you one example like walnut yes like walnut could cause your platelet or level to go low if you eat too much don't forget there are benefits in medical world we always talk about benefits at weighing the risk so now will not naturally have its own benefits for you but if you eat it more than enough if you eat it too much then it could be reducing your level of platelet so do not if you I, i'm not saying do not don't forget please forgive me for that so 
mind how you eat it that's all i will say because you need to know yourself properly what i tell people you need to know yourself medically that's it now going back to uh dr late dr michael so in his case dr gregory michael it was said that few days few days after taking the c19 shot he developed what is known as petition that is on his skin these things we are showing on his skin which means they were bleeding and this petition could be also caused by a condition known as itp it's a medical condition known as itp so that is uh, an immune condition that's your immune system your immune system is fighting itself seeing things as foreign and begin to seeing the platelet as foreign bodies and begin to destroy them and when the when the uh, immune system is fighting it destroying your platelet which means anything can start bleeding or there's any bleeding the bleeding will not stop so this guy this late doctor he this uh petiche appeared on his skin few days after taking the vaccine so but we're not going to link it for those who know what they're doing they will not just conclude oh it is the vaccine that caused it no you can't say that because in the science world they just they don't assume things they do things with research they come out with positive results they they, they test that is why that's the essence why they always go in their lab they want to check what is going on they don't just assume they don't work on rumors like we do yes i know most africans we just all we depend on is rumor then say then say then say then say waiting you say we don't know but then say and who said it no name you understand so that's why i'm very careful because if i make mention of anything here now people will say oh i heard for one youtube channel head reading this is what i heard anyway let's carry on with the case of the late doctor so he developed this which shows his platelet count were going down they were going down yes so he had to go into the hospital. The colleagues, they tried. They tried all forms of medication they knew they could use in order to increase his level of platelet gland so that the bleeding could stop. It's just that it was so unfortunate. They lost him. That is it. Now, the, the, the million dollar question here is, what happened was it the as a result of the low platelet count or was it as a result of the vaccine that is the big question these are questions you should ask yourself remember you can be a brother and a sister from the same mother you can be twins but your body will still react differently so was he reacting was it a side effect of the pfizer vaccine do we know we don't know we need results now when this happened trust you know these people they don't joke no they don't joke with uh, anything when it comes to death like this the western world we always investigate they are not saying they are not going to say oh it has occurred let him go we'll do this we'll do that no they contacted pfizer immediately to ask more about their vaccine and of course we all know what would be the answer from pfizer they said no even low platelet count is not it's not one of the side effects of their vaccine of course, as we all know, if you take vaccine, normally there could be like a light fever, cold for some, you know, a little bit of high temperature for some people and not even everybody. Because I took my flu jab, when I took a flu jab, so many people said, oh, they took flu jab, they fed this, they fed that. I did not feel anything when I took a flu jab. So now Pfizer said, no, it's not related to their vaccine. Fine now where is the problem 
could the problem be as a result of the ITP? That is low platelet count. Could it be? We don't know. Now, the next step is, what could have caused the low platelet in his life? What caused low platelet? Like I said before, many things can cause or give rise to ITP. For example, disease, family history, medication, even some food. Even, no, C19, because maybe after the vaccination, he caught C19. C19, you know, fighting with the immune system and all. Yes, we don't know. So everything is question, question, question. Question mark, please put question mark behind everything. So with this in mind, it is very, very important. You know what is going on before you start spreading rumor. You understand? As we all know, in Africa, autopsy results can be manipulated. But in this doctor's case, it's in the United States of America. Autopsy results cannot be manipulated. They can't even brush it under the carpet and say, we are not talking about it. No, they are going to find out. So the Florida uh, Center of Med the Florida Medical Examination Center, they are investigating this matter. So please let not carry rumor about that it is the vaccine. So now Africans are discouraged now. When you tell an African, go and take, uh, have you taken your, your vaccine? Oh, I'm not taking this vaccine because they said the vaccine is killing people. Who told you? How did you know? how and then you have some pastors who are preaching that this vaccine they put chip under your skin they will be reading you they will know where you are this is nine is this six, six, six that is coming this is what is preached this is this this is that then if you pastors are kicking against this vaccine what are you doing about it are you not bringing the holy vaccine in please we are waiting for the holy vaccine yeah, so let me leave that. So for your information, the US, they are investigating this case. They are investigating and they are, they've done, you no, know, they've, I heard they've done the autopsy and they are coming out with their result. And once the result is out, trust me, I will give you people feedback. So please, I want people to be very careful. Because one, we are not hundred percent sure. We cannot hundred percent say now it is the vaccine. Because why? Low platelet can be caused by so many things. Because the cause of death of this man was uh, hemorrhage in the brain, blood leaking into the brain. That was what he was diagnosed with: ITP. No platelet no platelet low level low level in, in fact what i heard is that the level of, of his platelet was just too low that in fact they couldn't boost it up why so that is what they are investigating so the autopsy result will find out that why am i doing this video I am doing this video because I want to bring awareness to my African community because majority of them are very gullible. Whatever they hear, they will take and they will start to carry it. They will broadcast it anyhow. Yes, they will hear news, rumor. You will see them, oh, carrying it, especially this era of social media. Whatever news they hear, they carry it. You don't hear, I never hear. Then say vaccine. You don't keep 20. You don't keep 30. You will see the people waking. You will see, it's my question. Sorry, I have to sometimes speak my pidgin English because I want my African people to really follow me. Really. Because to, uh, in the Western world, health awareness is, is like, any other thing, the, the, what they do here, they make sure they, are, they reach out to people in different ways. Like in the UK, there is public health in England. They give you information every now and then. They don't waste time. But in my place, oh my God, story, story, story. Yes, story, story, story. You won't even know what's going on until so many people have gone. Because, I know, I, I, and I think their, their root of escape is every death in Africa is mostly linked to witchcraft. You understand? And then when you tell them to actually look after their head, 
pastor will tell them, oh, don't mind, especially in this case of vaccine. The pastors will tell them, oh, they want to put chip on your skin. They, their plan is to be reading everybody in the whole world. They will come at the mark of the beast. This is the mark of the beast that they say they are bringing. So everybody who takes it has already gotten the mark of the beast. Oh God, my father, help us. I don't know why we Africans are like this. And that kind of preaching can never happen in Western world. Telling people they want to put cheap. The last time, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not after men of God, no. But when they were talking about this C19, when it came out newly, I saw uh, 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 this, uh, what's his name? Is it Pastor Chris? Saying that, yes, it is the 5G, 5G. 5G, what is 5G? You are using all new technology in your church. You have the best, latest mobile phone, which is on 5G. Why are you using it? If you know 5G is a problem, then dump down your latest phone and go for the normal, the, first, the very first uh, zero G phone and continue with that. But you want to preach on WhatsApp. You want people to follow you online. Yes, what are they, what, what, at what speed are they going to follow you? Is it when the phone keeps turning, trying to get a connection, try to get connection, which is the zero G, and we never get connection. If it is that zero G connection you want, all those of you preaching online, you will preach in vain because nobody will be able to connect or hear from you, hear what you are preaching because we can't connect. So please let us be very careful the way we pass out information to people. Yes, and... I really want to advise my, my African people. I know very soon now, the next video that is going to be trending on social media now is that, oh, vaccine don't kill 10 people. Vaccine kill 100 people. Vaccine do this, vaccine do that. Please, please, please. No, it's not about you carrying fake rumor. If you know you are not sure, if you know you are not in the medical field, don't just carry rumor. Please, don't just carry it make sure, make sure you know what is actually going on before you start kicking against it or before you start criticizing. Yes, there are positive criticism anyway, you understand. But if you want to criticize, criticize positively. If you want to condemn, make sure you have something else to replace it with. So I'm actually referring to those men of God and those rumor carriers, social media rumor carriers that will come up with uh, their rumor, come up with their topic, and then start to blow it around. And they have a lot, they have a large crowd following them. That's what's spinning me. This kind of my video, oh, who will watch it? No, they will say maybe a few people. But these people that carry fake rumor, oh, go and look at the view. Millions of you. I'm not jealous of you anyway. I'm not there because that's not my, that's, that's not my, my goal. My goal is to bring awareness to as much people as I can. If my information is able to save just one life, I know God would bless me for it. So if you are watching this video and you know that this information has helped you, please share it out and let others hear it. So, like I said, Please, please, please be very, very careful because it's going to start now and it will be trending on social media. This number of people have died. The other number of people have died. Please be very careful. Be very, very careful. So when people are telling you, do not take this vaccine, ask them, how do they want you to protect yourself against this C19? Because there's a video I'm going to do. C19 is real is real you need to protect yourself stay home and stay safe if you know you can't stay home and stay safe try as much as possible to put everything in place to save your life if you are going to work make sure you have your mask on if you are at work make sure you have your ppe on that is what i do really this thing is real i never believed it before but i'm telling you it is real According to one of our celebrity in Nigeria, is it P-Square? The twin boys, I don't know. I don't really know their names. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not like the, saying you guys are not there. I know you are there. It's just that I'm not uh, like, no. Don't worry, I'll keep following you so I keep your name in my head. So one of them caught this C-19. He had an experience. He gave his honest experience. And I loved one thing he said. 
He said, look, don't believe my testimony. Don't believe me. But when you get your own personal experience, you will believe what I'm talking about. Please, let us stay home and stay safe. And then be very careful with this. Uh, uh, I'm, not going, I'm not referring to all men of God because there are sincere ones among them. These fake men of God who wants to be pastors and at the same time be medical doctor or be a healthcare professional when they are not trained in the field, they don't have enough information, they don't have scientific backing for whatever they are saying in their altar and they have millions of followers. Be very careful when you are listening to them when it comes to health matters. Really, be very careful. That is why I am preaching on my channel. You have to know yourself medically. Know yourself. How well do you know yourself? Ask yourself that question, please. Ask yourself, how well do you know yourself? So, one thing you must know again. Please, when it comes to medical management or any disease management, the healthcare professionals who are responsible, first thing first they do is before they give you any medication, they go, they do what we call weighing the benefit and the risk. You understand? But the benefit always outweighs the risk. If they know they will give you a medication and they know that, oh, the side effect you are going to get is that you will get a little bit of rash and that rash is not going to kill you. They will give you that medication. There are some people, when they come to us, oh, we ask, are you allergic to penicillin? He said, yes, okay. If you're allergic to penicillin, what happens if you take it? And then he tell you, oh, if I take penicillin, I get a uh, rashes on my body. You can, the, the doctor can decide to go ahead and give the penicillin. But if the patient says, oh, when I take penicillin, I have anaphylactic shock, nobody is going to give you because anaphylactic shock will lead to death. So your doctors, your healthcare professional, the healthcare team, they don't just, they are not just there for fun. Me that is talking to you people, I did a video and I said, look, the nurses, I give you guys thumbs up. Really? I give you guys thumbs up because even in this era that we are now, you still see them walking. Is it that they are immune? No. No one is immune against death when death, death can take anybody, can claim anyone. But you still see them going frontline workers. God will protect us. I am not just talking. I am a frontline worker. Really, if you know, if you have enough information and you're able to protect yourself, you will not be putting me at risk. I don't live alone. I live with my family. If I go out there and work because I can't stay home, I have to work. I can't stay home. I can't stay home. I have to go and walk. If I go out there and walk and you are not shading when you are supposed to be shading, you are putting me at risk. You are putting my children at risk. You understand? You are putting my whole family at risk. Please. And please, I don't know what to say again. I, all I need to say is please investigate listen to the right people hear what happened exactly before you start saying then say then say our pastor say uh, the other one for church that day then they preach say waiting eh? i don't know what happened sorry i have to you know when the when the thing is more than an african we turn to our best language which is our Fijian english i'm sorry i have to say that really please 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 stop carrying rumor Consigning the uh, death of Dr. Gregory Michael, the Florida Medical uh, Center, they are investigating it. So do not carry that rumor. Oh, it is after the C-19 shot. No, do not carry that rumor. Presently, what has been concluded is that he, he the, 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 the cause of his death was um, hemorrhage in the brain, which is bleeding in the brain. So you need to know yourself and know what you're supposed to be eating because it could happen to anyone. It could happen to anyone. So please, stop spreading fake rumors. You understand? Stop spreading fake rumors. Because I've seen so many uh, YouTube people saying, oh, it is this, it is that. 
No, don't don't spread fake rumors. If you are not a healthcare professional and you know you cannot justify whatever you are saying, please stop it. Stop spreading fake medical rumors. Do not do that. And you guys that, that run to your doctor when they tell you, I mean, sorry, that run to your pastors when they tell you you have a medical condition. Uh, do you know what is called at within your competency? The pastor can only preach the Bible. For me, I can never challenge any man of God when it comes to the word of God. I can't. But I know I know God for myself. But they cannot cajole me. When it comes to that Bible, they can't cajole me. We might have a different understanding. Where I'm not clear, I go to them for them to explain it to me because I am not a pastor. I'm not trained. I don't have a degree in theology. No. So the same thing applies to them. When it comes to health matters, when it comes to medical conditions, they don't have a degree in it. No. Excepting a medical doctor who is also a pastor, I will say, okay, they can do that. If you know you don't have both qualifications, you only have your qualification in theology, please keep preaching to us the word of God. We need to hear it to nourish our soul every day. But when it comes to health matters and you know you don't have a, a qualification in health, in, in health related, any health related, you don't have any health related degree, please stop campaigning. Stop campaigning health matters. They are, we are, they are not asking you. The highest you can do, contact us to come and give a talk on your, in, 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 your, in your church. We will come. Invite me. I will come and give a talk. Invite me. If you want me to give an online, to, online, I will do it online with you. Anyhow, invite me. I will come and give a talk. Stop informing people in the wrong way. Yes. Please don't do that. It's time we stop all this fake rumor. So I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to stop because uh, when I'm doing things like this, it really makes me angry when I see people deviating from their line. When I see people deviating, if you are not a medical doctor, don't condemn medical, uh, the work of a medical practitioner. No, don't. You are a pastor. You don't, you are not a scientist. You are not part of the research. You did not, you are not working with Pfizer. You are not working with Moderna. Which one are you working with? You are not working with any vaccine company, but you are, you've decided to come out that it is a, a what's it, the chip that they are injecting in people's body. What do you mean? Please, if you know you have preached against it, better go and repreach it in your church or in your parish. I don't know where you are. Go and repreach it and let people follow the right way. And you guys listening to me, if you are not into or if you are not in any healthcare related uh, uh, profession, please, if you want to get your information, I will advise you get your information from the right source. Don't just speak from the, uh, you can get your information from your pastor if he's a medical doctor. But if your pastor is not a medical doctor and he's talking about it, don't accept it. He's just scheduling you. He's scheduling you. The money you will use in buying that medicine, he wants you to use it as church offering. That is what he's want. That's what he wants to achieve. So don't listen to him. Go and take off your hypertension. I, I have a live program. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I'm doing a live program today. You will see a young girl who died, just 21 years old. Because people are not afraid until they see people dying, 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 dying. They don't uh, believe that uh, this thing is real. Anyway. Let me end this uh, video here. Thank you so much. Please, if you've really enjoyed this video, I want you to share it. If you've gained a little awareness, I did not say 100% awareness, even 10% awareness from this video, share it with somebody else and let that person also get that same awareness. Really, share it. Share it, please. And again, if you, this is your first time, please subscribe. That's it. Subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.